everybody, welcome back. My name is Chef Rob. Today we're going to make some lemon blizzard crinkle cookies. They have a little sweetness, a little tart in it. Great for the holidays for those people that don't like the chocolate cookies, okay, or just the plain sugar cookies. But these could be served all year. The spring, the summer, they're really good too. But just a nice little switch. And the blizzard, a little bit of powdered sugar on at the end. So we're first going to start with the dry ingredients. Okay, so we're going to start with a cup and a half of the all-purpose flour. Just kind of spoon it up, level it off. So that is our one cup. And now the half cup. And then we are going to add in some baking soda and baking powder. We're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. So just a little bit, a quarter teaspoon of salt, that will bring out that lemon flavor. And then about an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. So the baking soda is just going to make the cookies come out a little bit. Baking powder will give it a nice little rise to it. Okay, so we are just going to mix this, these ingredients here up. Okay, make sure they're well blended. Leave this to the side now. Don't start your oven yet because you will need to put this dough in the refrigerator for about an hour to chill, okay? So very important with that. We want it to be really cold and kind of a thick batter before we spoon it out. So we want one stick of softened butter. If you have the unsalted butter, try to use that. Room temperature butter, you should kind of be able to go just like this, almost like press your finger into the butter just a little bit. Okay, it shouldn't be melted, but it should be room temperature. If you take it out about an hour ahead of time, that would be perfect. So we're gonna take one cup of the white granulated sugar. It is very important to have that full cup to give it the right consistency, the right moisture. Okay, so we're just gonna put that right in here. I'm going to start beating this and then we're going to add in our egg and our vanilla extract. Just want to get this just to where it's combined. I want no sugar to be left. It should just be like a little bit creamy too. Okay. You could always take spatula scrape down the side so it all kind of gets to the middle turn that up just a little bit when you do add the egg and that you will start to notice that creaminess texture okay so one egg drop that right in there and then I'll one teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Put that right in. We're gonna mix this all together and then we're gonna zest one lemon and get the juice from it as well. Okay, this is nice and combined now. Just gonna get the lemon. We're just gonna zest it. So you wanna use the whole lemon, especially if you really do like that lemon uh, taste in it. Okay, so use the zest and the juice. Let's do it like on a little cutting board, something like this. Try not to get the white part. That can be a little bit bitter. Just wanna get that outside. Just kind of tap it down and you will get a lot more off of it. And then you can always take your finger on the opposite side and just get all of that lemon zest off. These are really delicious. They're going to bake in a 350 oven. They take about 12 to 15 minutes. The way that you kind of tell if they are done or not, they should not have like a glossiness to them. So they almost should lose their shine. Okay. So this is just about done. So this is about a medium sized lemon and all of the zest is off of here. Tapping that off. 
got pretty much everything off of here. Add this right in here. And then if you want to get the most juice out of the lemon, take it out about an hour ahead of time when it comes to room temperature. It will just allow it to loosen up the juices and give you more juice. And of course, if you use a juicer like this, you'll get a lot more. Make sure those pits don't get through. So a lot of lemon comes out of this. And then we are just going to turn the electric mixer back on. You could use a stand mixer as well too. But for something like this, I think a hand mixer is just fine. Why clean a big one? Okay. Let's just bring this all together. Just make sure everything is really good and combined. Scrape down the sides. I'm going to turn that up just a little bit. And now what we want to do is we're going to just gradually take this flour mixture and just get it to where it is combined. When you get towards the end, just make sure you take a little spatula, go up against the side of the, the bowl, make sure all the flour is mixed in. Okay. So again, these are perfect for the holidays, perfect for spring, summer. This is really a good cookie all year long. Okay, so now is when I just want to get all of that flour mix that's kind of caught up in there. Okay, once the dough is all combined, please just stop. Just take these beaters off, just like this, okay? And you can kind of tap it on the side here to get it off. Okay, and what we're going to do is get everything off of this spatula. Take a little bit of plastic wrap. And we're going to put this in the oven. I'm sorry, in the refrigerator for one hour. They'll get in the oven. Okay, just make sure no air kind of gets through to it. Okay, so one hour in the refrigerator, it should be nice and solid, and then we'll spoon it out. We'll put it on either parchment paper or silicone baking mat. So if you have one of those, they really work good for it. Okay, so our dough was in the refrigerator about an hour and 20 minutes. An hour is totally fine, but you could always put it towards the back. It'll get colder quicker. You want to kind of scoop out about one and a half inch round ball, okay? And just kind of put them on a little plate just like this. Once we get these all rolled into little balls, we're going to put them in some powdered sugar and then we're going to line a baking sheet with the parchment paper like we have right here. These are going to bake in a 350 oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. And then we just have to let them cool. Okay, so we got 20 cookies rolled about one and a half inch balls. We're just going to take about a half cup of the powdered sugar, put it into a bowl like this, and then just roll the cookies in here. And then put them on a lined cookie sheet with some parchment paper. And then we will uh, just bake these off in a 350 oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. So if you find it easier, take the cookie balls and just roll them into the powdered sugar. And this is a half cup right here. And you should get approximately 20 out of this batch. So we are going to go put these into the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Put them towards the lower to medium, um, medium rack, and then halfway through, just kind of switch them like that, okay? And then we're going to cool them on a wire rack, and then we'll finish them off. So our cookies took 15 minutes. They are nice and cool. Cool them on a wire rack. So now what you want to do 
is just take these, put them on a nice platter. When they come out of the oven, you could take a little powder, a little uh, powdered sugar in a shaker and just put it right on top or and kind of let it melt in there to make it a little sweeter. Or you can kind of take it right now, a little extra powdered sugar, and just sprinkle it right on top. So if you have a little bit of the powdered sugar left and you want to put it into a little shaker just like this, just kind of give it a nice dusting. And you have more than enough with a half a cup that you can do this. And now you have lemon blizzard crinkle cookies. Hope you enjoy these and thank you for always watching.